Welcome to the Pluto Lounge, where we just chill. You, not a step closer. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. What happened to your friend? An oil bear. Please, do you have any- Shut up, Andrik. Do you serve the absolute? Wait. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Useless. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenner, new recruits, yours to shepherd. Protect them. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Explain this Absolute to me. What? Are you... Are you testing us? The Absolute is our goddess. She's going to rip down the old world order, start a new one. Then we'll be the ones with the power. Well, you will firstly, true soul. You don't need me to explain that. A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice, and when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. Please. Any supposed new god would have an uphill battle. You're mistaken. I am no true soul. What?! What are you doing? Your sword, brother! Now! Stupid. Whoa, I did not mean to press guiding bolts. <laughs> Damn, I'm tripping. I will ascend. That's like overkill. Taking position. This is my time. Fleet of foot. All right, well. Oh, let's remove his strain. Blood comes easy these days. Reek really kill them all on top of each other like that? <laughs> like, that's kind of perfect. Damn, I sound kind of creepy, don't I? And ready to fight. Pray, no doubt. 
You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness. See? It was a hell of a roar. The beast shrinks back, feathers quivering. What? Gosh, Laser, why do you disapprove about that? Okay, you wanna fight? You can fight. Time to wait. Ah! Oh, another one? Okay, I was not expecting that. The spear is pretty fantastic. Ooh, that's a bad miss. Hoping I would do a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, bro. We killed your. Uh, we killed your girl.
Hmm, I messed that up. I actually should have. I should have hexed them. Protect me. Take you. Time to strike. So much for peace. Saluna statue. It's a stinking cave. Hardly a place of honor. You... There's magic at play here. A spell keeping this chest shut. Salunite prayer. Marked with the same symbol as the chest. I'll have to sully my tongue and recite it. My prayers are answered. You should leave it, or even destroy it, if possible. But why? This rubbish is an offering to Saluna. At best, it's worthless. At worst, who knows? Could be cursed. Trifling with that moon witch will only bring you trouble. Shah's guidance is clear. We are in no position to abandon resources, Shadowhearts. I'm sure Shah will understand. for a couple of coins. <laughs> she is mad. Looking at something. Just looking. What are you doing? I'm looking too, but not seeing very much. Another quirk of my affliction. It's a small price to pay for a vampire's power. To you, maybe. To me, it's just another thing Kazadu I've never even seen this face. Not since it grew fangs and my eyes turned red. 
What color were they before? I... I don't know. I can't remember. My face is just some dark shape in my past. Another thing I've lost. It's for the best. You're not exactly aging gracefully. Aging? What do you mean, aging? I'm a vampire. Forever young. Sure, but was your mold always so... prominent? My... what? But, but I don't... <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> There's something I've been wanting to share with you. If now's a good time. You are voluntarily telling me about yourself. Are you feeling unwell? Is it the tadpole? No. The opposite. I feel like I can share this with you. I've never felt that way before. It's difficult to put into words. I think it might be easier to just show you. Use the tadpole. The connection. Come into my mind. I don't remember how it started. Only how it ended. I was fleeing. My name. I can't remember what I said. I can't remember anything before those words. All I know is she saved my life and gave me a new home with Lady Sharp. <laughs> it hurts. That's all I remember. Something sparks in your memory about Salunite rites of passage. You heard once about how they would send their children out into the wilds to navigate their way home. You looked like you were wearing a moonstone. Isn't that commonly worn by Salunites? <laughs> You're reading too much into things. A childhood bauble, that's all. Just because Salunites claim something doesn't mean they own it. No wonder you're so dedicated to Shar. You feel like you owe your life to her. Lady Shah. But yes, her and those who saved me and taught me her ways. The Mother Superior. She made me who I am. At least as best as I can remember. She taught me, trained me, punished me when I failed her. Which was often. Sounds like abuse. Abuse? Nonsense. The Mother Superior made me strong. For the Dark Lady. It's like, damn, poor girl. But it seems like she was abducted as a kid and has been brainwashed since she was a child to, to follow that cult or whatever it is. Basically child abuse. Keep your distance. You're welcome to shelter here, but we've grave injuries to tend to. Who or what attacked you? A devil. 
the most deadly foe we've yet encountered. We are Paladins of Tyr, Lord of Justice. He sent us after an infernal being, straight out of the Nine Hells, hiding in the form of a one-horned tiefling. One horn? Then you mean Karlak, Archdevil's bootlicker. You know her, which means you know what the Fiend is capable of. She slaughtered countless refugees fleeing the Absolute. Yesterday, she butchered an entire family without mercy. We were lucky to survive our encounter with her. Where is this devil? She ran toward the river when she saw we were merely wounded, not dead. Down the hill from here. She must pay for her crimes. If you capture her, you will have served Tyr where we could not. This is the Sword of Justice, blessed by Tyr. I've wielded it since I swore my oath. It's all I have, but it's yours if you stop her. Bring me her head, and Tyr will consider her crimes repaid. Very well, I'll bring you your... <laughs> Very well, I'll bring you her head. May the just God guide you. All right, Will. Seems we finally get to kill your tiefling after all. Okay. Wonder what it opens. Running hot. Stink of Avernus, Advocatus Diaboli. <sighs> well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. <laughs> there are no natural flames. Prepare to fight. Touch me, and you'll regret it. A great heat roars through you. Her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood, the blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What was that? Evidence, proof that you're a devil, a gladiator in the Archdevil Zariel's army. I can explain, but it's a whole situation. If you just hear me out... Another vision. Karlak's blade raised, slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Her rage and desperation seep into you. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. She's trying to trick us. Don't believe her lies. You saw the truth. I never wanted to serve Zariel. I was enlisted in her army against my will. Forced to fight, and fight I did. When I saw an opportunity to get away, I took it. Finally home. Or near it anyway. You served her. That's enough to damn you. Looks like you found your mark, Will. Let's send your devil back to the hells. It's done, Karlak. By my living soul, you will forever burn. You know, I could have used a friend. Pity that won't be you. Finding my way. All right, Sapper Strength. Oh, come on, Will. You gotta hit your target after all of that. For Prince Ali. In my best interest. 
Hmm. We don't need to use that. Missing a lot of 70 70% uh, 70 attacks. Alright, there you go, Will. A faint acrid smell clings to the corpse, like the memory of a storm. Comes free with a sickening crunch. The devil has fallen. Hells, I should be celebrating, making toasts, roaring in victory. But I can't get the tadpole's visions out of my mind. Tell me we were right to strike Karlak down. Don't you think it's a little too late for misgivings? Not exactly the words of solace I'd hoped for. Damn it all! I vowed to hunt vicious monsters, not join their ranks! Enough whinging already. You should be drunk on the kill, not drowning us in crocodile tears. Hmm. Right you are, Lazel. I've slayed myriad devils, each one a threat to Faerun. I've torn the horns from their heads without a second thought. Why should this time be any different? My prey has fallen. Hail the blade. Hmm. Well, let the silent winds carry word of our conquest. Here's her head, just like you asked. Thank you. As promised, here is my blade, blessed by tear. It's sacred, the most valuable thing I've ever held. I hope it serves you as well as it served me. Cool. Are you gonna tell me the truth? Your actions saved many souls. Tear be with you. Guess not. did I walk into? Ow. Damn, she's got hops. Looks like we gotta rescue you two guys. Hmm. Alright, let's 
like they're coming around our backside. Either I could come support and help you guys here, or I could kind of protect behind us. Another no, let me come and help. We'll do... Damn, only 45%. Let's cut off our... Whatchamacallit... Weapon. him give you that no holding back okay that's fine two steps at a time Play them drums. out of the way. Sixty-four percent. I could live with that. <laughs> so he says. But you can shoot through the rocks. What the hell? Eighty percent miss. You're killing me. Play them drums, man. I want to cleave those two so bad. Damn, I did a lot of damage. Can we 
reach. Not quite, huh? Kill this guy. We lost our advantage. <laughs> Alright, whatever, I'll just take that attack. Oh. I'm gonna get in between these guys. It's a good miss. It's like four attacks in one. Opportunity attack. Uh, yeah. uh, we'll probably do a long rest after this. Okay, he gets a critical hit. I mean, opportunity attack. This is so annoying. Ooh, Will, you're taking some hits there, buddy. Lazel's got your back, though. That's a good idea. I swear, the RNG in this game makes me hate it sometimes so much. So, so much. Taking position. Watching me miss everything and then the scrub hits everything. Your time has come. Where do I go from here? Uh, it's 
don't really want to take the opportunity attack. This dude, we've missed a lot of 75%, 85% on this guy. This is just a horrible RNG round. Good man, you're all good. Uh, I want that advantage. Why is it only 50%? Like, I wish you could actually hit fairy fire more often because then that would actually make it more of a useful spell. Sorry, Will. Let's end this. Hmm, let's see. Ah. Still breathing, despite everything. <laughs> see, I got you, Will. You should take a look. By the gods, you're a sweet sight. Are any of my crew still alive out there? No, it's a grim sight. This whole journey's been one grim sight after another. Gnolls, goblins, drow. Risen Road's more dangerous than ever. You're the first friendly face we've seen since Eltagard. <laughs> Eltagard's a long way from here. Where are you heading? We're bound for Baldur's Gate. Got some cargo to deliver. But we've a stop to make along the way. Where's that? Joaquin's Rest. It's just up the road. I'd be enjoying a mug of ale right now if those beasts hadn't jumped us. Listen, you look like you know how to handle yourself. You should meet my associates. We've got our own drinking spot by the tavern. Invitation only. Tell the fellow on the door. Little serpent, long shadow. He'll take good care of you. What's in the chest? Your cargo? Aye, the whole reason we're in this mess. Trinkets for some rich tosser in Baldur's Gate. He gets his shiny baubles. We get a handful of Terenths. Terenths are the currency of a merchant network called the Centaurim. Led by the mysterious Paragost of Darkhold, their dealings are far from scrupulous. 
Darkhold was getting concerned. I've been sent to retrieve the shipment. Yeah, Adam. Zaris won't be happy. But I suppose she can take it up with the Pergost herself. Take the chest. If you haven't stopped by our Joaquin's rest spot, you should. I'm sure Zaris had welcome such a prestigious guest. Zaris won't be happy. But I suppose she if you haven't kill. Let's rest that. Hellsfire. She's coming. Well, buddy. I thought it was time I dropped by the doghouse. Mizora. The one and only. You haven't introduced me to your friends. Where are your manners? Well, well, aren't you a luscious thing? Oh, you flatterer. Why, if I had a heart, I'm sure it would be skipping. Call me Mizora. I'm Will's patron, the fount of his power. Your warlock friend is my puppy. And he's been a very good boy. I say fetch, and he'll fetch. I say kill a fugitive tiefling, and... Well, I don't need to tell you. You said devils only. She was a tiefling, not a monster. Clause G, Section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Cheer up, Buttercup. Karlak had no heart. You did the world a favor. More to the point, you obeyed. I've heard enough. You're not leaving this place alive. Kill me? I wouldn't recommend it. I die, and Will turns to a Lee Muir and get sucked right down to the hells. Which reminds me. a pleasure. Shame that tadpole's gone and pissed on your party. But I'll be damned if it goes pissing on mine. I've got some errands to do. But don't you fret much, pup. I'll be back in three shapes of your tail. Keep an eye on him, will you? I'll be keeping mine on you. Oh, and Will, don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta-ta! Damn it all! What have I done? I'd be hunting devils and demons, Mazora said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not... Not this! Not Zariel's victims, not innocent tieflings. Karlak showed us the truth, and I refused to see it. The Blade of Frontiers has some explaining to do. I'll say what I can, but it won't be enough. It's Mizora who grants me the power to conjure armor and cast Eldritch Blasts. Before I was infected, I could even call hell beasts and summon festering clouds, but... I promise you, every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. Or oh, so I thought. Until Karlak. How in the hells did you get involved with Mizora? Ah. The one little question that put me out of house and home. 
I can't utter the terms or circumstances of the pact. I can tell you most all else, but the pact, I'm forbidden, unless Mazora permits it. But I'll say this. The moment I pacted myself to Mazora, I have not regretted for a heartbeat. It was my proudest deed. It was worth the sacrifice. All I can give you on that is my solemn word. Tisk tisk. My condition is worsening again. I need to consume some powerful magic or it may become volatile. Thank you. It is a strange experience. Each time anew, I come. Lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. Somehow the second artifact hasn't had the effect of the first. It somewhat relieved the discomfort, but I fear my hunger hasn't quite... Ah! Gil, what's happening? The magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire. It merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle, the fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Thank you for the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was too. A great deal of trouble indeed. It's all good, brother. It's all good, man. Let's roll. Ooh, what is this? Smoke. Something's burning. What are the gods are watching me? Okay, I'm not sure who these people are. So it is spoken, and so is it done. Like they're in some like straight up armor. Do you think your kin search for you, Lazel? I know they do not. It is my responsibility to cleanse myself. They pursued the Nautiloid. Perhaps they were trying to free you. A vain notion. I am one of many and will not be a burden to my queen. Okay, how about not being a burden for us? I want you to do some scouting for us with your super jumping ability. <laughs> We're shouting. Someone needs help. Damn, Lazelle is amazing. Oh shoot, we get to rescue someone. Damn. <laughs> Maybe Lazelle is the one that needs rescuing? Was that backdraft a, a f phenomenon? F f phenom? <coughs> the fire! Hurry! Get this thing off me! Oh yeah, that geth strength. That geth strength. Almost. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Wait, why are you back on the floor? Oh, wait, did he see me? Oh, wait, they're just putting out the fire. Wait, are they not enemies? Okay, I feel stupid. <laughs> okay, I feel stupid. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's better be safe than sorry, right? They could have legitimately been a threat. He's a smart guy. 
Smart guy. Smart guy. Keep pushing! Duke Raven Guard could be inside. On count of three. One, two. Raven Guard? He's here. Yes. Now make yourself useful. Push, damn it. Push! We can do it! Put your backs into it. Push! <laughs> Damn, now that is how you make an entrance. Alright, y'all people should probably stay back. It's like literally, you guys are all just standing around watching. <laughs> <laughs> they um, run away. I'm afraid proper thanks must wait. Yeah, agreed. Something's on my Ow. mind. Councillor Floric, are you all right? Well, by the living gods, I couldn't have asked for a finer saviour. Scorched throat, a few hairs singed off. Nothing a bit of time and, and fresh air can't cure. Gauntlet, a new duty calls. Drow have taken Grand Duke Older Ravenguard westward, if my eyes and ears can be believed. Report to the Manip and send for reinforcements. We must find the Duke. On your command, Counselor. No, it can't be. You mean they've taken my... Yes, Will. The Drow have your father. Will? You're the son of nobility? The circumstance of my birth is no matter of pride for neither me nor my father. But pride is no reason to refuse help to my own flesh and blood. How can we help? Rescue Ravenguard from his drow captors. Baldur's Gate needs him now more than ever. Trust us to see it through, Counselor. We'll rescue Duke Ravenguard. You have my word. Thank you. When the Grand Duke returns to the city, He'll hail his only son, a hero. Go. You should pick up the drow trail with ease. I will seek reinforcements and join you when I can. Remember, Will, courage is found in the battle against fear, not in the defeat of it. So father said. I won't soon forget. Fist to work. Shit. You can put distance between you and yesterday, but you'll never leave it fully behind. Father's words. Hard to argue with them. Floric spoke true. I'm a Grand Duke's son. Then the choice is clear. We should rescue Duke Gravengard. Thank you. That means a lot. But I wonder, what makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? Even the houses of Menzo Baranzin would have little use for my father. No, this is no drow plot. These absolute nutters, these true souls are behind his abduction. His absence alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. All the more reason to find him. The absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. Ah, oh, very perceptive, Will. Damn, that's a lot of explosives. You spot a man crouching between the shelves, just as he spots you. Bugger! Little serpent, long shadow. Oh, hell's orbs! I thought you were flaming fist.
Well, down you go, then. They'll be on us soon, so if you're looking to trade, you'd best be quick. Entrance is hidden behind the wardrobe. Let's see... That's far enough. What's your business down here? Answer honestly and maybe we'll kill you clean. Whoa, hold your arrows. This is Rugen's savior, I'll bet. He told us all about you. Come on in then. Any friend of Rugen's is a friend of the family. This place is booby trapped out the yin yang. Don't get comfortable. recruited me, Rugen. You're the one who taught me rule number one. Remember? <laughs> no. Ollie didn't remember either. Did you, Ollie? You're dead the moment you steal from the Zentarim. Which you should have known. That is, if you'd done your research before impersonating one of us. You recall an old Zentarim proverb coined by their founder. I've already shown I've got more wits than Rugen. Let's work together. tongue on you. Usually I'd rip it out, but these aren't normal times. Tell you what, you've already taken Rugen's cargo, so finish the job and I'll let you live. Deliver it to Boulder's Gate. Oh, and kill him. Okay. Wait, wait! It was Ollie. I swear it was Ollie! Show some respect, Rugen. The boy was loyal to you till the end. No, 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 no! Please! And just like that, everyone profits. All right then, recruit. You can stock up here and be on your way. Bring the cargo to Boulder's Gate. Someone there will make contact. Sorry, mate. All right, I don't like that they forced my hand, so. <laughs> Time to get rid of all these people. Mortal slash. that amazing that she's still alive
It's like it may seem cruel, I know, but I don't fool with the slavers. These boots have seen everything. Okay, guys. What should I do? Visible, that's cute. My faith will protect me. Nothing important is ever easy. He's a smart guy. Do, 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 do. Smart guy. Smart guy. Damn, I didn't mean to kill the artist dude too. Looks like we've found our third entrance into the Underdark. 
<laughs> How many entrances are there? My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. Thank you. any effect oh mr have mercy on us all listen i need to speak to you to all of you it would be unconscionable of me to remain silent go on you're among friends i might just be about to remedy that you have to know who i was you have to know who i really am what i am is a walking shadow of the promise i once held and what one might call a wizard prodigy from an early age could not only control the weave but compose it much like a musician or a poet such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself the lady of mysteries the goddess mistra she revealed herself to me and she became my teacher in time she became my muse and later even my lover are you telling me you made love to a goddess oh yes we enjoyed each other's company, body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. How exactly did you cross those boundaries? I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. I swore my ambition was only to serve her better. She only smiled and told me to be contented. Inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess. And yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? I'm intrigued. Tell me all. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. He almost managed, but not quite. And his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. Fractured then shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought, until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book, a netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? <laughs> I guess you ruled out flowers and chocolates altogether then. You know me. My gestures can never be grand enough. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next, here, place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in into the dark. 
You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bowed and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And the gods is it ever hungry. How are you still alive? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. Go on. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. You thrice damned rotten bastard! You've been the greatest threat to our lives all this time! I swear to you I wasn't! But I've no choice but to admit I am now! Perhaps it would be best if I leave and put as much distance between us as I can before the orb erupts. <laughs> I guess I should have left you in that portal. Unbelievable. Did you ever think what would happen if the tide pool got the better of you? Every waking moment. Every dreaming moment, too. But there was no way out. All of this. It must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. I would hear what the others say first. You'd even consider letting him stay. We must be rid of this menace. I'm in two minds. And frankly, don't care a great deal. Either decision is fine by me. If we were to part ways, where would he go? Once I'd step out of the protective aura of the artifact, it wouldn't be long before the Absolute overtakes me. I'd never let that happen, so I'd aim for a swift end. I would consume some midnight tears and venture as deep into the Underdark as I possibly could, till they cloud my eyes forever. With a bit of luck, I'd manage to make it to a Mind Flare colony, so that when the orb erupts, one loud, Last song of vengeance would reverberate through the dark. Wouldn't be a heroic end, but coarsely poetic enough in its justice. We've come this far together and we'll continue on together. That's how it'll be. And besides, I frankly don't trust you. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice, but if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now, even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. Didn't know that was possible. But you just said it's not satisfied, so then... What's next? A dragon rider. My kin are near. It's huge. It would be too much to hope that's nothing to do with us, wouldn't it? I suggest we admire it from afar. Time to press ahead. What are you doing? Hold up before they see you, Mark Gresham. What's the matter? What? Apart from the dragon? Look. That lot are swarming all over the bridge. I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. Unless you're looking for a fight, that is. Who are you? Nobody. Just another harassing fool trying to stay alive. There's plenty of us around. 
Seems you have good survival instincts. Maybe you should join me instead. What? Just follow you around? I go my own way. Alone. Alright. Rad. That's it. I'm getting out of here. What's hiding here? Drop your weapons! I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istik. This is y your last chance! No, look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Now burn! Wasting time, Beretta. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to. No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. A red dragon. I envy its knight. Would that I rode such a steed. A crash must be near. Come, my kin await. And we'll just pat the dragon on the head, I suppose. The dragons serve Gith Yankee. I'll see it does you no harm. Follow me. We are close to the cure we seek. Uh, why do I have a bad feeling about this? Oh, she left our party. Kithrak, we must speak. Damn, that is a beautiful dragon. Ryder, my time is short. Lead me to... Shh, shh, shh. Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not bleeding. For I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, child. Lazel. Lazel, proud, regal, even. You will call me Gestil Kithrak. Vos, Knight Supreme, the Queen's Silver, the Queen's Sword. I am who you say. A Gake vessel has fallen from the sky, Lazel. Thieves aboard have taken a weapon most precious. It is polyhedric in shape and inscribed with the sacred runes of our people. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon that Voss seeks is the same one the Absolute's followers are hunting. It's the artifact that she carries. Her mind focuses. The Gith's suspicions cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is right within their grasp. Take word to your crash. You are to join our search. Speak up, child. Affirm your mandate. You honor me with this duty, Kithrak. I shall alert my caretaker with haste. The Kithrak nods, content with Lazel's answer. You serve your queen well, child. Take your slaves and hunt those who escaped the Geich ship. They must carry the weapon. I fly now to Vlakith, our undying queen. She will see your faith rewarded in this plane and ours. A current of deception carries Voss's words. Wherever he flies, it is not to Vlakith. To Danos! To the sky! Damn, the Githyanki are no joke, huh? Like, I always thought that Lazel spoke to outsiders the way she does, but damn, they talk to each other like that, too. Damn it all! 
You did well to intervene. Vexed as I am to admit it. The Gestil Kithrak would have flayed our skin and left our carcasses to burn in the sun. All for the sake of the artifact that we carry. The crash is near, this much we know. We follow the path forward and into the valley. No one, not even the ignoble Gestil Kithrak, will keep me from my purification. It's like, now that I think about it, the word purification kind of worries me.